magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. This is magic. Magic is creating the illusion that you can defy the laws of nature. Science is the study of how the natural world works. This is science. Reduce, reuse, recycle. You and I make a lot of garbage. Americans throw away enough garbage to fill 63,000 garbage trucks every year. What? A day? Holy cow, Nelson. Americans actually throw away enough garbage to fill 63,000 garbage trucks a day. Wow, that's a lot of garbage. Fact, every year, Americans throw away enough one-time use or disposable cups and forks and spoons to actually circle the planet Earth 300 times. Have you seen the planet? It's big. It's bigly big. It's huge. Wow, that's a lot of garbage. You may be saying, garbage, smarbage. Why should I care? Why should I try to make less garbage? Glad you asked. Fact number one, the less garbage you make, the less pollution you make. Mm. Thanks. Fact number two, making less garbage conserves the planet's resources. Fact number three, making less garbage saves landfill space. <laughs> a landfill is the place that we pile up all of our garbage, and man, is it a terrible waste of natural resources. Some landfills are as high as mountains. Wouldn't it be great to just make all of our garbage disappear? Ha ha ha! Yeah! No. Ha ha ha! No. Ha ha ha! No. Yeah! No. We can, by simply using the magic words reduce, reuse, and recycle. So what do the words reduce, reuse, and recycle mean exactly? Well, reduce means we create less waste or make a smaller amount of garbage. Hey, wait a minute. I'm trash. I'm not garbage. <laughs> reduce. A good way to make less garbage is to not use disposable or single-use stuff. You can drink out of steel or aluminum water bottles just as easily as disposables. But these, you can use over and over again. That reduces garbage. Going to the grocery store, you can take a reusable bag. Now you might not think this can make a difference, but think of it this way. If you go to the grocery store just once a week for a whole year, by the end of the year, you will have thrown away 50 plastic shopping bags. Why not bring one of these? Reusable canvas bags. You are reducing garbage by using them. So, what's the second magic word? That's right, reuse. We know that you can reuse shopping bags and water bottles, but did you know you can reuse batteries? That's right, rechargeable batteries can be used many, 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 many times over. Use it, recharge it. Use it, recharge it. Use it, recharge it. Disposable batteries, not so much. You can use them one time. Oh, no. And then you have to throw it away. What? That's wasteful and it pollutes the environment. Batteries are filled with toxic chemicals. So every time you throw one away, you're not only making more waste, you're adding more toxic stuff to the environment. So you gotta have batteries to charge your stuff. Right? Uh -huh. Your computer mouse needs batteries. Your remote control car needs batteries. The best reuse choice is to buy rechargeable batteries because they can be reused many, 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 many times. There are lots of other ways you can reuse. In fact, 
You can upcycle. You can make something out of garbage, like this awesome gas can guitar. Here's another really cool example of reuse. That's right, it's a guitar case made of an old briefcase, an old busted up bookshelf, an old rotted fence. And do you know what I keep inside? That's exactly right, a cigar box guitar. Thank you. And not only does it look cool, it actually sounds pretty cool too. Last magic word, yep, it's my favorite, recycle. Recycling is amazing. You take old resources and remanufacture them into new resources. This old aluminum can can be recycled into a new aluminum can. Lots of things can be recycled. This old piece of notebook paper can be recycled into a new piece of notebook paper. This plastic yogurt cup can be made into a toothbrush. Even this plastic milk jug can be made into something new and original. Like this toy boat. Post-consumer means someone already recycled it. 100% post-consumer waste, someone used a plastic milk jug and then recycled it, then that recycled material was made into something new. In this case, a toy boat. The same material, plastic, is being used over and over and over again. The process of recycling is fascinating. First, the recyclable item is dropped into a recycling bin. Then it's sorted at a MRF, a materials recycling facility. Then it's sold to a manufacturer. Then it's made into something new. Then it goes to the store. You buy it, you use it, then you drop it in a recycling bin and the whole process starts all over again. How great is that? Part of the reason that I love recycling so much is that it is remarkably like nature. Eventually, everything in nature gets recycled. The air, the land, the water. In nature, all waste is food. The leaves that fall in autumn, the dead bugs. In fact, everything that dies becomes food for another creature in nature. It is a closed loop. Recycling is a closed loop. Everything in nature gets recycled, and nature really loves cycles. The same air that you breathe out is absorbed by plants, and they in turn release the oxygen that you and I need to live. It's a cycle. It's a closed loop. The water that moves through the water cycle, it's exactly the same water that turns to a gas, gets heavy in the clouds, and falls to the earth as precipitation. It's being recycled over and over and over again. The same water that exists now has existed since the beginning of time. It's just been recycled over and over and over. Same water, recycled. Recycling is a very natural thing. In reality, garbage is simply a misunderstood natural resource. I so hope you understand this, Steve. Garbage is not really garbage. Actually, no, it's not. It's a natural resource that we're not thinking of correctly. Oh, a natural resource that we're not using sufficient imagination and understanding to use intelligently. That's exactly correct. Oh, how wonderful. I simply love a new perspective. Pretty much all of the resources that we have or will have in the foreseeable future come from the sun and the earth. That means that everything on earth and the energy and light from the sun have real value. We cannot get any more. So this makes them valuable. Have you ever wondered why we call it a waste basket? Right, because everything we throw away is being wasted. Remember, on average, each one of us makes about four pounds of garbage per day. That's a waste of natural resources. It pollutes the environment and it wastes landfill space. But we don't have to make tons and tons of garbage. We can keep the planet healthy and green forever. By using the magic words reduce, reuse, recycle, we can make our trash disappear.